Hey there, I'm Mr. O. One of the things that students tend not to pay attention to when they're producing a TV news piece is audio. And beyond the critical audio that we get from things like stand-ups or interviews is the audio we get from background sounds, the sounds that accompany the actions of our pictures. That's what we call ambient sound, or more commonly in the news biz, natural sound or nat sound. Let's start the subject of nat sound with a bang. So, quite clearly, the image of an extraordinarily strong man, quite intelligent too, I should add, is augmented by the sound of what he's doing. Ow! 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 Hmm. So, you're probably thinking, why do I need to go to college to be told the obvious? Of course there should be natural sound with the pictures. Well, unfortunately, sometimes students do this. They shoot pictures of somebody doing something and there's no audio. It's what I like to call dead video. Now, viewers might not say out loud, hey, there's no sound on those pictures, but it creates a disconnect between your main ideas and what's being presented. Further, Nat Sound gives you a sense of being somewhere, a presence. And given that people are often watching television while they're doing something else, it's helpful to have moments in a piece when the Nat Sound pops up. Whoa! Those are called Nat Sound breaks. Oh, ouch, ouch! And they help keep the attention of your audience. So, a couple of rules of thumb. Rule number one. When doing a TV news story, never, ever, 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 ever shoot video without audio. Instead, always make sure your camera has a microphone. A shotgun mic like this is typical for Nat Sound, and make sure it's connected. And remember, some mics require batteries. Check the audio meter on the touch screen to make sure you're getting a signal. Use headphones or earbuds when you shoot to make sure your audio is okay. Rule of thumb number two. When you're in the field, try to capture sounds of people or things that will add to your story. And whenever possible, try to start your package with Nat Sound. For example, let's say you're doing a piece about a music program. And you may want to begin that piece with a track where you write to video, yes, 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 and introduce that track with some appropriate natural sound. For example, there is a young cowboy. This is one cow who loves to sing cowboy songs. Waiting for summer, his pastures to change. <clears throat> Rule number three don't include gnat sound breaks indiscriminately. Nat breaks have to be relevant to your subject and have to flow from the sound bites and voice tracks. Nat breaks that are not connected to the rest of your piece are just kind of odd and don't serve the purpose of giving an audio example of what you're trying to convey. Okay, let's do a quick review. Ow! Ow! Natural sound is good. Dead video is bad. Nat sound breaks give your story a sense of presence Ouch. Ow. and should be connected to your stories in an integral way. Do that on your work and I will say thank you. Thank you very much.